Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 26th day of January, and today's topic is titled, The Shape of Your Story. Before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and hope and pray that He's your Lord and Savior today, and uh, praise the Lord, and Praise God for sending His only begotten Son down to this earth to die for our sins and be buried and not to stay buried, but to rise again the third day according to Scripture so He could give us eternal life as we um, desire to have it. So hope and pray you will call upon Him today to save your soul. Amen. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to sing today's Scripture song first and then get into the topics for the Baptist Bread and Boots on the Ground devotionals and then sing a hymn and read a little uh, hymn story from uh, the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs hymn book. Amen. All right, so let's get started here. Psalms 70, verse 4. Let, let all things that seek the Lord thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let, and let, such let thy salvation say continually, let the let Lord God be magnified. Let God be magnified. Sorry. Let all now, those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Let God be magnified. Amen. We should let God be magnified. Praise the Lord and give him the preeminence. Amen. All right, so we'll do that in yesterday's scripture song uh, towards the end of the broadcast again. And now it's time to get into today's topic. Uh, for the Baptist spread, titled "The Shape of Your Story." And, uh, wait a second, take these off here so I can read this better. All right. So today is Wednesday, January twenty-sixth, and today's topic today today is titled "The Shape of Your Story." And it says here in Psalms one nineteen one twenty-five, "I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies." Psalms one nineteen one twenty-five. And today's author is S.G., that would be the initials for uh, Sam Green, and he's the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Beckley, West Virginia. All right, so he writes here on this topic of the shape of your story. He says here, one uh, sage of the past uh, said, so one uh, sage of the past said, there is properly no uh, history, only bi uh, biography. A contemporary added these words back to him. The study of history is nothing more than the study of great men and women. History is biography. And of course we know history is his story, Jesus' story. So all uh, is Jesus, amen. <clears throat> so history is biography, he says. This is especially true of the Bible. Take away the people and it would be difficult to think your way through the scriptures. It would be a hard book to understand, full of abstract concepts unrelated to life. Mm. It is the people who make the scriptures connect with reality. Take the book of Genesis, for example. It is the biography of 12 men wrapped in a historical account of God's movements on earth. You have Adam and his uh, three sons, Cain, Abel, and Seth. That brings us to Noah and his three boys, Shem, Ham and Japheth. This is followed by the account of Abraham and his son Isaac, followed by Isaac's son Jacob, followed by his son Joseph, and that's it. This is the basic outline of the big book of Genesis. When you get to Exodus, it's primarily the biography of one man, Moses. The focus of the Holy Spirit centers upon one individual and stays there through four more books of the Bible. Exodus to Deuteronomy. It's the story of God's personal servant, whom he shaped into a man of selfless dedication. Question, what is your story shaping up to be? 
Who? Mm. And what uh, or who are you allowing to shape it? Mm. Good question. So, question is, uh, what is your story shaping up to be? And what or who are you allowing to shape it? So, should be the Lord. Amen. All right. And of course, uh, it's all about Jesus, not about us. So, um, shouldn't get prideful about that because uh, yeah, the Bible is all about God and uh, His uh, dealings with man. Amen. As uh, Brother James uh, said in class uh, this last week. So let's uh, remember that, that it's God's dealing with man throughout the Bible. Amen. And uh, so praise the Lord for Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he too can be your Lord and Savior and wash away your sin today. Amen. So let's make sure we uh, get uh, that taken care of if you haven't already. And then to make sure we're always following the Lord and doing what he uh, says to do and obeying his word to the fullest. Amen. Hmm. Uh, it's easy to say, but not always easy to do. But uh, we can do it if we really desire to. Amen. All right, so that's the end of the topic from the Baptist spread, The Shape of Your Story. And now I'll go ahead and read you the Boots on the Ground devotional. And this book is written by Randy Wells. And today's topic story is titled A Pardoned Outlaw and this takes place on January 26, 1875 and the passage is from Micah 7 18 it says who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage he retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy Micah 7, 18. We'll praise the Lord for that. He does delighteth in mercy, and he doesn't want anyone to perish, but all to come to repentance. So he doesn't want to have to pour his wrath out on you or me, or any man for that matter. But he uh, will, if you choose to reject his word. Amen. So, all right. So now again to the topic here, a pardoned outlaw. It says the names Frank and Jesse James are forever immortalized as two of the post-Civil War's most notorious outlaws. Both served in the controversial Confederate company known as uh, Quintrell's Raiders, but their violent war firebombed the Jameses' homestead in an attempt to flush Frank and Jesse from the house. As it turned out, neither brother was home that night. Instead, the attack um, maimed their mother and killed their nine-year-old half-brother. After the attack, Frank and Jesse ramped up their activities and began targeting men from the Pickerton firm. In 1882, a member of the James gang assassinated Jesse. Uh, his brother, Frank, surrendered shortly thereafter and was tried for his crimes in uh, Gallatin, M Missouri. Amazingly, no jury would convict the outlaw as many were sympathetic Southerners who saw the James brothers as 19th century Robin Hoods. Hmm. Uh, Frank James was acquitted of all charges. He walked out of the Huntsville courthouse a free man. It had been the trial of the century, and he remained a free citizen until his death in 1915. Frank James certainly deserved punishment for his crimes, yet he was acquitted and declared not guilty. None of us deserve heaven, <laughs> yeah, or salvation for that matter, so none of us deserve salvation. We all deserve to um, perish in our sin, but uh, praise the Lord for Jesus, who uh, will save us if we call upon him. So none of us deserve heaven, or salvation for that matter. The psalmist declared, For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. Psalm 2511, like David admits in this psalm, our sin is great. In fact, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 3, Nevertheless, God in his mercy offers a pardon for all. Amen to that. Uh, but God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace are ye saved. Ephesians 2, 4 through 5. When we trust Christ as our Savior, we are eternally pardoned. Amen. So, and uh, it's good that uh, he was pardoned, but uh, 
we are eternally pardoned when we trust Jesus as our Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so that was a um, good comparison there. And that's the end of today's uh, Boots on the Ground devotional, A Pardoned Outlaw. Amen. All right, so put that aside there. And now I'll get into today's hymn. Hymn. A little story at the bottom there of the hymn book. Amen. So yesterday we finished the uh, Then Sings My Soul book two book. And now we're going to do some uh, hymns and little stories here at the bottom of some of these hymns in this uh, big, huge book here titled Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs. And today's hymn is Oh, Worship the King. And it says here, this is on page one of the book, if you have a copy of this book. It's a psalm, and uh, says it's it's a psalm and the worship of God. And it was written by Sir Robert Grant, who lived from 1779 to 1838, and then Joseph M. Cross, 1756 to 1792, and adapted by William uh, Gardner, 1770 to 1853, and then arranged by Anonymous. All right, so. Go ahead and get into the hymn here. <clears throat> All right, I gotta do the intro. All right, there's six stanzas here, so. <laughs> oh, worship the King, all oh, glorious above. Oh, gratefully sing. His power and His love, our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise. Oh, oh, tell of His might. Oh, tell of. Okay. Tell of his might, O oh, sing of his grace, whose robe is the light, whose canopy space, his chariots of wrath, the deep thunder clouds form, and dark is his path on the wings of the storm. All right, can't do that. <laughs> this earth with its store of wonders untold, Almighty thy power hath found it of old, hath established it fast by a changeless decree, and round it hath cast like a mantle the sea. Thy bountiful care, what tongue can recite? It breathes in the air, it shines in the light. It streams from the hills, it descends to the plain. And sweetly distills in the dew and the rain. Frail children of dust and feeble as frail, In thee do we trust, nor find thee to fail. Thy mercies, how tender, how firm to the end, Our Maker, Defender, Redeemer, and Friend. O oh, measureless might, ineffable love, While angels delight to Him the above, The humbler creation through faith feeble there lays, with true adoration shall lisp to thy praise. Amen. All right, so we got a little story down here at the bottom. Um, it says here, Sir Robert Grant, 
stood as a man among men, serving both as a member of the British Parliament and the Governor of Bombay, uh, though himself uh, of royal uh, station, Grant's uh, pen attested to the highest adoration his maker, amen, the regal prose uh, of his pen ran rich in the uh, lofty expressions and majestic declarations which attested to a humble concession to a being so much higher than himself. Hmm. Pretty good there. Amen. And uh, so in this hymn book, there's uh, um, references on each uh, of these stanzas here. So I'll give those really quick. And so stanza one is uh, Psalm 104, one, and then Psalm 89, 18, and then um, Daniel 7, 9. I think that's what that means. D-A, Daniel 7, 9. And then stanza two is se uh, Psalms 104, verse 2. And then Psalm 104, verse 3. And then Psalm 104, verse 3 again. And then stanza three is Psalm 104, 5. And then Psalm 104, 5 again. And then Psalm 104, 6. And then stanza four is uh, JB. I'm not sure. I think that's Job 37, 9 through 13. And then Psalm 104, 15. And then... Uh, let's see where am I at here, and then uh, uh, Psalm one hundred four thirteen, and then the fifth stanza is Psalm one hundred four twenty nine, and let's see Psalm one hundred four thirty one, and then Isaiah fifty four five, and then the last stanza we have is Psalm one hundred four one, and then Psalm one hundred four thirty three. Amen. So that was uh, the hymn and. A little story down here from the hymn here, Oh, Worship the King. And so let's see. All right, so on page two, tomorrow's uh, hymn and little story down here at the bottom is from this hymn, Abba, Father, We Approach Thee. So we do that one, which is uh, hymn number two in this hymn book, Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs. Amen. So we'll do that one tomorrow. All right, now it's time to uh, go ahead and sing some scripture songs before we wrap it up for today. Amen. All right, grab my glasses here and those back on. So we'll do yesterday's and then we'll conclude with today's. Nahum 1-7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and He knoweth them that trust in Him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and He knoweth them that trust in Him. Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. Psalms 70, verse 4. Let, let all those that seek thee rejoice, rejoice and, and be glad, glad in thee, and let such, such as love, love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee, and let such as love thy salvation continually. Let God be magnified. Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee, and let such as love thy salvation say continually, let God be magnified. Let God be magnified. Amen. All right.
right. Well, that'll about be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist bread and boots on the ground devotionals. So tomorrow's the 27th and we'll be singing Galatians 2.20. It says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen to that. All right, so that's tomorrow's scripture song. And then uh, tomorrow's Baptist Bread devotional topic will be titled, Are You Thirsty? And the passage is from John 7.37b. So that will be tomorrow's Baptist Bread. And then tomorrow's Boots on the Ground devotional will be titled, Reunion Day, and this event takes place on January 27, 1981, and the passage is from 1 John 3, 2, so that's the Boots on the Ground devotional uh, topic, and then uh, the hymn for tomorrow is uh, Abba Father, We Approach Thee, Amen, so, and uh, the title of this uh, big hymn book is Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs, and this is written by Melody Publications, and their address, uh, email, or their website, I should say, is melodypublications.com, where you can order a copy of this uh, book here, and good book to have, um, full of uh, hymns, and what they did was they found all the um, hymns, and they uh, put all the stanzas back in, and uh, um, put them back in their completion, whereas some of the newer hymn books uh, take some of the stanzas out, and so they put them all back in here and then put a little story on most of these uh, hymns. Some of them don't have uh, stories with them, but most of these do. So I'll go over the ones that do have uh, little stories and snippets here of uh, the the hymn and what, uh, who wrote it and um, what their life was about a little bit. So, amen. All right, so that's that book. And then the Scripture Songs book and CDs are available online at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And that's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website, and they are missionaries to Guyana, and they are back there uh, taking over and uh, doing the work again. A amen. And so pray for them and all those that uh, have uh, um, so graciously uh, taken over the work while they were gone, and uh, that they would continue to uh, be bold witnesses out there. And for all those that uh, are out there under... under uh, um, them in that uh, ministry out there, so pray for that, and all uh, missionaries around the world, amen. All right, so that's that information, and the Baptist Bread devotional booklets are found on the website at www.baptistbread.com, or you can find them on the other uh, website at www.timgreenministries.org, and he's also got some other books there that you can check out and see if you'd like uh, a copy of one of those other books, uh, I think there's some missionary books uh, there and and some other uh, topics, so amen. And then the Boots on the Ground book is available online, and uh, perhaps you can find it at your book, local bookstore too, so that's to cover that. Amen. All right. I have to apologize about uh, trying to sing it with the background music. I didn't realize it was going to be a little uh, different like that. Uh, perhaps next time I'll just pick a simple uh, piano version, uh, so... Amen. All right. Well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. See y'all, Lord willing, tomorrow. Bye for now.